guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is coffee date Thursday. Haven't been here in a while, but we're coming back. I have my um, Ozark Trails tumbler mug cup. I don't know what you want to call it. And I have Guatemalan coffee in here from Aldi and it's okay. It's all I had. So that's what I've got. It's actually from this morning. Mm. And it's still warm. It is not hot, but it's definitely still warm. So, yay. By the way, this is supposed to be like a dupe for the um, Yeti cups. And I've never had a Yeti, but I heard they work really well. And I like this cup. I don't like it as much as my Augie bottle. I am really getting off course here anyway. <laughs> Today is coffee date Thursday. And this is the fall favorites tag. Um, if you are new to coffee date Thursday, it is a group of women and we get together every Thursday. We don't get together, but we all make videos every Thursday on a certain topic. And this week it is the fall faves tag. And so what I'm gonna do is link all of the ladies who are participating below so you can go to their channels and check them out. Of course, if you enjoy this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here. This is a big week of videos. I had a video on Monday. No, I had one on Sunday. I had one on Monday. I had one yesterday. I have two today. My other video is so funny. It went up earlier today. You are going to love it. Be sure to click over here. I'll put it in the card so you can check it out. But I have a video on Saturday and Sunday as well. So it's a big week of videos because it's International Baby Wearing Week. So anyway, back to our topic at hand. I have all of the questions here from the Fall Faves tag. And this was an original tag um, created by some of our admins from Coffee Date Thursday. So I hope you enjoy. The first question is your favorite fall scent. And there are a lot of things that I like. It's probably the same thing that a lot of other people like. Kind of this cinnamon, clove, orange type scent. But um, as you know, I use essential oils rather than candles around our house. And uh, for freshening the air, um, just putting a, a, a hint of scent in the air and currently actually i got this last year but i'm kind of rediscovering it it's kind of like christmas carols i don't want to listen to christmas carols till it's like christmas time until at least after thanksgiving but i'm just i'm getting into this now this is from plant therapy and it is their holiday season um blend and this has doo -doo -doo, sweet orange cinnamon cashew ginger and nutmeg and i don't believe that this is kids safe for like under three um, I can't remember exactly, but um, I have been diffusing this in my office while I work. And just, it's so simple, just orange, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. Ginger and nutmeg together is really good. Um, I've done thieves and nutmeg before, and that's really yummy. Um, again, not safe to have around the little kids because of the thieves, the, the clove and cinnamon. But, um, but yeah, so this is one that I really love. Number two, best way to spend a rainy day. Hmm, what am I doing? I'm filming today. But no, my ultimate favorite way to spend a rainy day is sewing. If I have, you know, if, if I have time, like where the kids are napping or they're not here, I will be sewing. Um, that doesn't happen very often. So normally if it's a rainy day, we'll stay inside. Maybe we'll watch movies. Maybe we'll play. I don't know. But if it were just me, I would say the best way to spend a rainy day is sewing. Number three, favorite fall drink. I do not have a favorite fall drink. Uh, as you, if you've heard from my channel, um, I have what I believe to be a, whoa, there's the sun. Maybe it's not so rainy anymore. But anyway, um, I have what I think is a birch pollen allergy, so no apples for me. So all that's out the window. But I like coffee year round. Uh, it's, it's extra comforting on these rainy, cool days like today. It was rainy all morning. As you can see, the sun is coming out a little bit, but uh, I just like my hot coffee. Number four, football, yay or nay? Uh, <laughs> I love football. I really do. I don't have the time and don't really make the time to sit down and watch that much football. Take me to a live game any day. I don't care who's playing. I will have a great time. I love live football. On TV, I like to watch the Colts when I can. Um, but if I can catch Aggie football from the school where I went to 
uh, where I went to college, where I graduated from, from Texas A&M University, I will do whatever I can to watch that whole game. I will put other things on hold <laughs> if I can. We don't have cable anymore, so I can really only catch the Aggies when they go on the college game day, uh, which is happening again, I think, next week when they play Tennessee. I think so. So, yay. Uh, number five, favorite article of clothing this fall, leggings and tunics, you guys, or if not tunics, just long shirts. Um, loving it. I've got kind of a long shirt on today. This is like a Henley that I got at Target last year. Let me show you my leggings. If you can see them, my music note socks. <laughs> oh, um, these are some leggings that I made. I'll let me give you a better shot than that. That's ridiculous. Okay, can you see them? These are a rayon spandex. They feel like I'm wearing nothing. I absolutely love them and they match my shirt, so yay. But I am so into leggings. They don't have to be patterned or crazy. Just wearing leggings with long things that cover my booty. Uh, number six, haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze. <gasps> Neither. Mike and I do not get into haunted anything. I went to a haunted house one time like nine years ago for a friend's uh, bachelorette party and it was so much fun with a bunch of other girls but it's not something that Mike and I would choose to do. Um, we like hay rides, sure. Um, I don't know if I've ever done a corn maze. I don't know. Maybe it's just that uh, seems kind of pointless to me. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I don't really care. I don't really have a choice. But, or I don't really have a preference, but not haunted. We just don't get into that. Number seven, the scariest movie you've ever seen. I do not like scary movies. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this time of year with like Halloween and stuff. It's the dressing up is fun, but like I don't get into, you know, the, the witches and the Frankenstein and like the spider. I just don't get into it. It's just not my thing. But um, I, don't, I don't get into scary movies. I do like movies that scare you a little bit, but not like horror scary. Like, I like things that give you a good, you know, solid scare, like like Jurassic Park or something like that, that scare you a little bit, that kind of get you excited, but not like ghosts or spirits or demons or murders or nothing like that. It's just not my thing. Number eight, favorite candy to eat at Halloween anything chocolate, anything good chocolate. I've become kind of a chocolate snob. I love the lint chocolate, those truffles, but I mean, seriously, who can afford to give those out to sugar-treaters? They're expensive. Uh, but I don't get into like fruity stuff. Um, it's probably just like Three Musketeers and Snickers, but yeah. Question number nine, what will you and your kids be this year? <laughs> That's the million dollar question. Uh, Caleb is going to be Darth Vader again. Mike is probably going to wear a Darth Vader mask or maybe even a Chewbacca mask. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, Brayden, we don't know. He may be a minion. He may go a Superman again. Uh, I don't know. He might be. We have a lot of masks. Brayden loves to wear masks. And we found some kid size one. He has Spider-Man, Kylo Ren, Darth Vader, Stormtrooper, Hulk, um, oh, and a bunch of other like small, just over the eye masks, that kind of thing. Uh, so I don't know, maybe we'll, I'll make a costume or we'll find a costume that has to do with those masks, but I am going to attempt, I don't know, but I'm going to attempt to be Ren from Star Wars The Force Awakens. I looked at the costume and I figured that'd be easy enough to make, so we'll see. I think it will also depend on how cold it is. Some years we've had really cold th um, Halloweens and going out, we, we stay out trick-or-treating like an hour and a half or so and I don't know I mean I don't have to throw a coat over it so we'll see number 10 favorite fall recipe in the past I would have said it would be something like um, an apple something and I made an apple pie dip a couple years ago that was just oh, knock your socks I'm sorry a pumpkin pie dip that you dip apples in it was amazing but in the last couple of years I've really gotten into the squashes especially spaghetti squash and I've always roasted them in the oven and they were really good but this week I actually tried it a different way I just cut the squash in half like widthwise and then I put it in the crock pot on low for three hours done 
and I have sauteed it with taco meat. I have sauteed it with some butter and brown sugar and cinnamon, and that by far is the best way to eat it in my opinion. Like the Kerrygold butter, like the good butter, that is delicious. So I would have to say just plain spaghetti squash, just spiced up with whatever I'm feeling like. Number 11, favorite thing about fall. It would have to be the leaves changing. I grew up in Texas and we didn't really have seasons at all, but I moved here and my first fall, I was just, I mean, I took so many pictures that first fall of all of the leaves changing here and it's absolutely beautiful. There are certain parts of a drive that we make, like when we go to the north side of town that, oh, it's just trees on both sides and it's breathtaking about like middle of October, late October, usually by my birthday, my birthday's November 2nd, usually by my birthday, most of the leaves have changed and are starting to fall. I don't know, just since we've had kind of a long, warm summer, we'll have to see. Number 12, scarves or hats. I would have to say scarves because hats mess up my hair. Number 13, pumpkin pie or apple pie. If I had to choose between those two, I would have to say pumpkin pie. I can't eat apples anymore, so, but, I mean, pumpkin pie isn't really even my favorite thing. Uh, let's see. I would have to say pecan pie. I know that's not a, a, one of the choices, but pecan pie always wins. Number 14, Thanksgiving tradition. Uh, <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but probably our most consistent Thanksgiving tradition is looking through the Black Friday ads. My husband, Mike, loves Black Friday shopping. It gives him the biggest rush. He it's it's not even about like getting the stuff. It's just even like little things. He loves to get a deal. He loves the the hunt. Maybe it's a guy thing I, or I don't know, but I say you go out there, honey, Thanksgiving night, you know, or like four o'clock in the morning, Black Friday, you do that, you have a good time. He comes back so like electrified and sometimes he comes back with a lot of stuff. Sometimes he comes back with like one thing, but he's just so thrilled about it and I mean, I'm all for saving money, but you won't catch me out of there. But we do go through the ads and everything on Thanksgiving night usually. And I'm supposed to tag three people. And I should have thought about this more. I'm going to tag Terry Gigi. Allison from The Life of a Homemaker. I'm gonna tag Leanne from Grady's Mom. So there's the three of you. You can choose to do this if you don't want to, that's fine too. But um, thought I'd get you into the fun here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you would like to see all of my videos. Like I said, it's a busy week. I will see you next time and have a great day. Bye.